Now for a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. At least 21 people are dead after more than 50 tornadoes touched down across eight states. Some of those most devastating storms touched down in Illinois and Arkansas. The roof was ripped off a theater in Illinois, killing one and injuring 40 others at a metal show there. One person was killed after a shooting on 71st Street in Sacramento. There's no word on a suspect as of right now. Sacramento police are asking for anyone with information to come forward. Police in St. Petersburg, Florida say a two-year-old boy was found dead in the jaws of an alligator. First responders were looking for the boy after his mother was found dead. The boy's father has been charged for both of their deaths. Police don't know if the boy was killed by the alligator or was dead before the animal found his body. A construction worker is now recovering after the ground collapsed under him when he was in a 30-foot trench. It happened in Modesto yesterday morning. Rescuers reached the worker with the help of a rope system and rescue rescue basket. Two dogs were saved from this apartment fire in North Highlands. Metro Fire says one apartment has major damage and two other people were helped out of a nearby apartment. The fire was caused by a stove that was left on. Two people were saved from the American River after their kayaks flipped over. Sacramento Metro Fire says that they both were wearing life jackets and no one was injured. The Solano County Sheriff's Office is warning about a phone scam where someone calls and asks for money for a warrant or a subpoena. If you get a call like this, do not give out your personal information. The sheriff's office does not ask for money over the phone. Starting today, sales tax is going up in Elk Grove. It'll now be 8.75%. Voters approved the change back in November. The extra revenue will go towards faster 911 response times and fighting homelessness. An American journalist is now behind bars in Russia after the country says he was acting as a spy. Ivan Gershkovich worked for the Wall Street Journal. The company denied any claim of him being a spy, saying Evan is a member of the free press. He's facing up to 20 years in prison if convicted. Good news from the Vatican, the Pope has been released from the hospital. He was admitted three days ago after he said he had trouble breathing. He's taking part in Palm Sunday celebrations tomorrow. And that's a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.